if you ever play Dark Souls or any other type of game where the character goes into a dungeon and it's very dark and somehow the player always has some light on it, uh, it's because they're, they're putting a special light there. I'm going to show you in this video how to do that. So if I play the game here, you will see that my environment is a little bit dark. So when I go to these areas where the light is not being hit, uh, it's hard to see what's going on. So let's fix that. In order to do that, we just need to go to our blueprint character. And here we're going to put a light. We're going to put a point light. So go here, point light, and we're going to just going to leave it there and put it on front, just like that. Let's make it very obvious so that you know what's going on. Or let's just leave it at the defaults. Let's go to play. Now you can see what's happening. Like, I have a light in my character, so I really don't need to worry about uh, dark places where the player won't be able to see the gameplay elements. So, what can you do here? Well, there is something that is called lining channels. So, what are lining channels? Lining channels are filters that you can put so you can affect uh, different meshes for different types of light. In my case, I don't want to, I, I don't want to affect the, let's just say the, the mesh here. Let's go for the lining channels. There you go. Lining, lining channels. Only lining channel number one will be available. And lining channel number zero will not. So as soon as I do that, what you will see is that I have my lining here, but it's not lining my character, which is great. Now there is a little problem here because, yeah, this is lining the environment, but also what I need to do is to disable cast shadows because you don't really want the player to know that there is a light there. Usually it will be very subtle. So as soon as I do that, like I don't cast shadows anymore. Which is great, right? So, what else you can do? Well, you can tweak this value a little bit, but there is a problem here. And the problem is the character is not being lit by anything other than the light we have. So, just because we're putting some light in the environment, that doesn't mean that now the character is not getting hit by any type of light, which is not what we want. So, what can you do? Uh, you can change which lights are affecting the character also. So you can find here in the outliner all the lights, for example, the directional light, uh, or I can type, can type light. But you know, maybe you have different names for this and it's going to be a little bit hard to find. There is a better way to do it. Just go to Window, go to Light Mixer, and here you can check all the lights that you want to affect uh, the player. So in my case, my character, if I go to my mesh and I go to the lining channels, my character is only affected by lining channel one. So what I can do is select each one of those and type channel here. Select each type and type one also. So I can go to the spotlight and press one. So now this will lead zero for the environment and also one for the character. So now when I play my game. The lights that are here are going to lead my character also. Now this is not the greatest example because even here you can see like it's shining. Um, you don't really want to make it too bright, just a little bit. So what I will do is just to change this color here. Go to your point light. Usually they put something a little bit warm. And let's divide this by 10 because if you divide the value, you will get the result. So basically, we're making the intensity 10 times less. So let's see how this like. Okay, so now it's much more subtle. Like when we go here, like we have lead our character, which is great. Now, I feel like it, it will need a little bit lighter. So let's go for 100. Click Compile, 
now when we play like all of the the lining or there you go so so now you have a really subtle light that is following your character and when you're on, on lead mode you don't really see it except you go for some places like this in this case maybe you need to adjust the lining but in any case if you go to a darker place now you will have a little light in your character that is always following like if you play games like dark souls or any other kind of game where you get into a really dark environment it can be easy for the player to get lost because it's very dark so in this case you have either the option to you know leave your environment or you can do this trick which a lot of games use like just put a small light that only doesn't affect the character only the environments just so that you don't have a light there like in your face okay now hopefully this video helped you so just a small little tip uh i find that it's it's, it's very simple but it's also um uh, it can be quite helpful sometimes when depending on the type of game you are making.